If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC25, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC25 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Again, guys, I do apologize about the hero pack. Um... I got no notification from Easy SBC or Footbin, and you guys know I don't have my Twitter feed. It's all muted, so <laughs> there's no way for me to know that stuff, which I like this way. But, guys, today we have the 4141 Custom Tactics to review today. You know, you guys know it's always a review over here. Um, I think we're going to have to go back to my boy Now Easy when it comes to Custom Tactics because we tried out this Custom Tactic and it worked out really well in game. I have a lot of highlights for it from champs gameplay and some reviews as well. So you have to go get all of that, right? But the custom tactic is going to be from this YouTube video right here, right? So I will be leaving a link down below to that YouTube video. So be sure to check it out. The code will be over here at the top left. If you just want to copy it right away, just make sure that when you copy the code, you have 61 for line height on your team. Okay, very important to mention this, but uh, we'll go over here. Uh, again, we have been using different teams for this custom tactic, and it works out regardless. If you have Sissoko in the CDM position, ooh, it cooks, man. But anyways, the custom tactic is lined up like this. So we have both of the fullbacks on fullback defend. Both of your center backs are going to be on defender defend. Your goalkeeper is going to be on sweeper keeper balanced. Your CDM is going to be deep lying playmaker defend. Your left center mid is going to be playmaker attack. Your right center mid is going to be playmaker roaming. Both your left mid and your right mid will be on inside forward attack. And then your striker will be on advanced forward attack. Guys, I'll tell you this right now. This is one of my favorite formations that I have tried so far this year or tactics that I have tried out so far this year um, because all of the you know, things that he did in the middle of the pitch is very, very nice to work with. Always make sure that you guys look into the description of each specific role that the player is being or the player is doing because it's all incredibly noticeable in game. Like you'll, you'll notice all of these attacking plays. So with the left mid, right mid, inside forward is a wide attacker who begins on the wing, but will regularly cut inside onto their preferred foot to shoot or play the final pass. But you are working hand in hand with what your focus is, okay? Your focus is also when given an attack focus, the inside forward will focus on cutting inside and making attacking runs. If you go to balanced, right? The balance says when balanced, the inside forward will offer minimal defensive support and sometimes hold off making runs in behind to instead offer passing options. For me, your passing options are all going to come from your center mids. You need these cards to be on attack for them to consistently, as much as possible, because you know how the attacking AI is in this game, right? As much as possible, consistently do that inside forward role, okay? And they just do it way more when they actually have the plus version of it. That's why when we did the review for Adama Traore, you guys saw it during that time period and even now, that this card's a monster, right? He's so strong and he's just, he's fast. He's insane to work with, okay? So the inside forward attack is gonna be fantastic for him, but even the midfielders, right? The deep line playmaker defend, playmaker roaming, playmaker attack, you actually still have attacking options to work with in those areas. You still have attacking AI to work with. And that's fantastic to have, right? Because you guys know, man, I always try to find formations that will allow you to have as much attacking AI as possible, but still be able to defend well, too, because this is what the team looks like without the ball, right? You're still going to defend with your three midfielders, your left mid, your right mid, even though they'll be more attack oriented, right? And then your team's going to look like this. And what does this remind you guys of? It reminds you of a 4-3-2-1 in a sense, right? And we're going to check out his 4-5-1. His 4-5-1 is probably going to play the exact same way, just with the midfielder a little bit higher up the pitch, right? So try your best to get players that have the deep line playmaker, because honestly, it is fantastic to work with when they do have it. Um, I think when we were trying out 
does see Soko Karge. Uh, the main one that he has is the Holding Plus. Honestly, if you guys really wanted to, you can put Holding Plus on the roll, but just look at what he says, right? So the key cog to build up a uh, play from the back, this defensively positioned midfielder will often be the catalyst for attacks. Okay, someone like Sissoko for that is great because he has crazy passing, right? But on the Holding Plus, a pivotal role in modern football, this defense minded midfielder focuses on guarding their back line during attacks and covering off against counterattacks with limited attacking support, right? So if you were to just use the regular version, you wouldn't be wrong to do that, even if your player has the plus role on it. It just depends on what you feel like you want the most. But it is, is it more fun to have it on deep line playmaker? 100% because their focus is still going to be to defend, right? We'll focus on closing down passing lanes and staying back while their team attacks, right? You got to look at what it's saying. Right center mid playmaker roaming many times, many, many, many times you see them opening themselves up for a, for a great play, extra pass, right? Same thing with this guy, but then he actually, you know, does attacking runs from time to time too. And that's really great to work with too, because there's a lot of really good players that have the playmaker role already on the card. Like honestly, if you packed that promo de young card like he would be so nice to use in this area um because you could probably use like patrick Guijaro um as well as the young in that area and it would absolutely cook right but yeah you want to try to get the roll pluses as much as you possibly can right it's just going to be the case for all the formations now especially with all the promos coming out and the way that the tactics are kind of building up but this has been a fantastic custom tactic to use i really really enjoyed using it um you guys know that when I'm doing uh, foot champs or rivals, I don't care about the results. I care about providing content. There's time periods where I will review tactics and they just suck. No movement whatsoever. And you guys know I'm an attacking AI merchant. If I don't get that, I'm not going to player lock my way through a victory, right? So that game, I'm just cooked. There was a time this weekend playing rivals, playing champs. And some games I got lucky enough to win, right? where I tried out viewer tactics three times in a row and all three of them like just were not for me, right? And uh, the reason I'm saying it not for me is because one guy was actually uh, in the elite division at like an 880 skill ratings. I don't know if that's, I mean, it's it's, it's good, obviously. Um, but it just wasn't for me. I just, I, I wasn't seeing the movement and it, and it kind of makes me believe that maybe they use a lot of the player locks. So I'm like, eh, you know, not for me. But this one, I don't need the player lock. And this is what I look for. And then I, this is what I look for you guys as well, because I don't think you guys use the player locks as much either, even though it's a huge part of the game nowadays because the way the attacking AI is. But even still, I just, you know. Um, so yeah, this is a tactic you guys can try out. It actually has movement. You'll be able to score really cool attacking plays. And you guys will see it from the highlights that I end up showing you. Okay, so try to get the most meta players possible. That's how the game is nowadays, right? Try to get all the roles. The roles is going to be the key thing to work with, okay? If you have, like, really cool evolutions that have the roles, even that would work as well, okay? So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the introduction. I'll show you guys the highlights of how it plays. We score a lot of nice goals, and we score with, like, physical type attackers as the lone attackers up top as well. It's really, really interesting, but, yeah, I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Be sure to visit the original video, okay? Show some love. I appreciate it, boys. I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace out. Nice pass. Wow, what a deflection. Ah, uh, tree are still effective. He definitely has very solid uh, driven passes. Oh my goodness, that was sloppy like crazy. The reach there. I always 
always feel like I'm offside. Like, I don't know what it is. I... Oh, finesse shot plus. That's crazy, bro. Oh, that was actually nice. That's 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 insane. Sure. Nice goal. Small little touches. Oh, look, it actually registered that time. Nice goal. We'll take it. Thank you very much. Nice. Work the extra spaces there. There we go. Yeah, people don't understand how crazy that is. Pass the ball, there you go. Little sweat zing, finish it off. All right, I'll take that. Would you not see? Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be on side. But he doesn't know where the space is. He's acting as intelligently. <laughs> Same goal again. He's going to leave on the tie, I think. Yeah, figured. Nice. That was a good build up play. The mind falls like, I don't know, he's going to use the manual goalkeeping. Who knows? Who knows? Go, Girassi. Oh, thank you. Holy. I love to add all this emphasis, man. We're good. There it is. We'll take it. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> that scared me, dude. There it is. There it is. Oh, it's still in there. 
Whatever works, bro. Oh, what a game we play, buddy. Woo! There it is. Please go in. There it is, bro. That's what that chip shot is for, my friend. Oh, I read time that he still scored. That works. Oh, red time that we still scored. Nice finish. He was already like really well positioned there. Sure. Sure thing, sure thing. We'll take that. <laughs> Red timed again. Wow. Positions himself well, we get a Trivella angle right away. Yeah, that works too. There it is. No way. Deserve. That's crazy. Beauty. Nice. I was like looking at his run and I was like, why is he running like that? But then the guy at the bottom was playing him on. I don't know if the guy was controlling him, but if he wasn't, he just literally screwed him over there. I don't know what his player was doing. Nice. To be fair, I should have sweated to begin with, but regardless. Oh, this game's attacking plays are just... There it is. First touch, really helpful there, man. Take a small touch afterwards, five-star weak foot, it's a great strike.